Today, the goal of a surgeon transplanting a cornea goes beyond simply making a clear graft. Successful surgery should result in a clear graft with no astigmatism. To accomplish this, the surgeon must accurately cut both the recipient and donor corneas and make sure sutures are evenly placed. All of this can now be done with precision using only two disposable instruments. The Barron Corneal Transplantation System allows the surgeon to make predictable and regular matching cuts of both the recipient and donor corneas while accurately marking them for even suture placement. Now being used extensively, the Barron system is easy to operate, disposable, and inexpensive. One of the two instruments which make up the Barron system is the vacuum donor cornea punch. It consists of a blade assembly, a seating ring, and a cutting block with a small silicone tube attached to a syringe with a spring-loaded plunger. The cutting block has four holes where the steel guide posts of the blade assembly fit to make sure the blade is perpendicular and centered. The well of the cutting block contains a central positioning hole and four additional holes which are used for marking suture points. It also contains a circular trough 12 millimeters in diameter. The syringe creates a vacuum behind the holes and trough in the well of the block. This prevents the cornea from slipping as it is being cut and ensures the corneal button will remain in the well of the block and not in the blade when the blade is removed. The Barron Vacuum Donor Cornea Punch is available in diameters of 6 millimeters, 6.5 to 9 millimeters in quarter millimeter increments, and 9.5 millimeters. The procedure for using the cornea punch begins with the instrument laid out on a sterile field. The tip of a surgical marking pin is placed into each of the four holes in the well of the cutting block, and the pin is twisted until the sides of each hole are coated with gentian violet ink. The plunger of the syringe is pushed in all the way and held. The donor cornea is placed endothelial surface up in the well of the cutting block and is centered. The guide posts of the seating ring are inserted into the holes in each corner of the cutting block, and the seating ring is pressed down gently to make sure the vacuum will hold the cornea in place. The plunger of the syringe is released abruptly to create a vacuum which will hold the cornea in place as the seating ring is removed and replaced with the blade assembly. The thumb is placed directly over the blade and the blade assembly pressed down firmly. The blade assembly is then removed by pulling it upward. The scleral rim of the donor cornea is picked up with forceps and is removed from the cutting block. This releases the vacuum and leaves the marked corneal button in the well of the cutting block. The second part of the Barron system is the radial vacuum trefine used to cut and mark the recipient cornea. It consists of a body and a blade assembly. The hollow walls of the body encase a vacuum chamber ending in 16 radial markers which will mark the cornea for suture placement. There are two plastic struts for holding and stabilizing the body. The vacuum chamber is connected by a small silicone tube to a syringe with a spring-loaded plunger. The blade assembly itself is made up of a movable circular blade, crosshairs for centering, and spokes, which are turned clockwise to lower the blade and make an incision, or counterclockwise to retract it. For each spoke turned, the blade is lowered or raised six hundredths of a millimeter. The Barron Radial Vacuum Trefine is available in diameters of 6 to 9 millimeters in half millimeter increments. Cutting and marking the recipient cornea with the trefine requires only a few simple steps. Before the surgeon places the trefine on the cornea, the edge of the blade is aligned with the bottom of the inner wall of the vacuum chamber. This position on the blade is called the zero position. The blade is then retracted three spokes and the plunger of the syringe is pushed in all the way. The crosshairs of the trefine are then aligned with a centration mark that has been made on the cornea. The trefine is pressed evenly on the corneal surface and the plunger is released abruptly to create a vacuum. The trefine is stabilized by gently holding the struts and the cornea is cut by turning the spokes clockwise. The initial three spokes turned lower the blade to the zero position. The number of spokes to turn further depends on the desired depth of cut and the corneal thickness. It is recommended that the cornea be cut as close to Desimé's membrane as possible. After the cut has been made, 
The tree fine is removed from the cornea by pushing the plunger of the syringe in all the way, which releases the vacuum. The anterior surface of the recipient cornea is then dried to reveal the 16 radial impressions made by the tree fine. And each impression is marked with a surgical marking pin containing gentian violet ink. Now the donor corneal button is removed from the well of the cutting block and held with forceps at one of the four circular marks and positioned on the eye. A suture is placed in the donor cornea at the center of the circular mark and in the recipient cornea at one of the 16 radial marks. After the first suture has been tied, the second suture is placed in the donor cornea at the center of the circular mark 180 degrees away and in the recipient cornea at the radial mark 180 degrees away. This ensures even distribution of the donor cornea in the recipient bed. No guesswork. The third and fourth sutures are placed in a similar manner. The remaining radial marks on the recipient cornea can be used for additional suture placement. The Barron transplantation system is the only system that stabilizes both the donor and recipient corneas as they are cut, contains crosshairs for centration, and marks the donor and recipient corneas for even tissue distribution and suture placement. Steps toward achieving a perfect transplant.